No. Thundara, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Aerith. Really need you to heal me. Leave her alone. Thundara. Do it again. Okay, Aerith, I need you to heal yourself now. Heal yourself now! Aerith! I will survive. Jesus. You'll pay for what you did to Aerith. Oh, he blocked it. Damn, that was quick. Alright, hear me out. Red 13! Summon Shiva. Duty calls. My ice queen. Kick his ass. Go to the ground. And it was just cloud. <laughs> Let's finish this. Well, I'm breaking my limits. Well, dangerous to end like this. Damn. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's think. <laughs> Let's think. Um How can we Okay, so we want thunder. Lots and lots of thunder.
Uh, get rid of wind. Wait, no. Swap it. Uh, we want wind. No, sorry. We want lightning. Oh, thank God I have so much lightning. Okay, everyone, put on the lightning. Put it on. Feeling ain't gonna help us. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, wait, what did I do? Lightning. All right, let's try this again. Right on me. They're cast the thunder. <laughs> this went way worse. I think of what's effective. My God, Chakra, keeping him alive. Does have a limit break. No. All right. It's not even the robot, it's just the field is on fire. 
Hey, Tim Kira, come on. Let's go there. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to take us there. Let's go there. Oh, man. All right. Hold on. Hold on. So, I've learned the chakra's good. And lightning material is what I need. But how you doing, Tim Kara? Ah, damn. Okay, looks like it. Okay. I'm gonna need Aerith. Never stop praying. That's what I'm gonna need you to do. Just never stop praying. All right, we're good. Let's do it. Come on, out you go. Dude, so much has happened in the last two weeks. It's insane. Oh man. Well, I'm all ears, dude. Let me know. Uh, and I'm right there with you, man. With stuff happening. Right there with you, bud. Mollies! Oh god! Okay, Aerith. You just focus on getting your healing ward. God, I can save Cloud! I can teleport him. Don't worry, Cloud, I can save you. By saving me! You can use some health, Cloud. I said Cloud. <laughs> right, get the fire away from Aerith. Aerith, you had one job! I forgot she had a teleport. Ain't gonna lie. Is anybody awake? Cloud! Thundera! Keep the fire away from Aaron. Let's go. Deal with that. So it's my turn. Get ready. I'll hit him with the thunder. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Thunder. Okay, red 13, you might need to get out of there. <laughs> You need to get away from Aerith. Aerith! Take it over. 
don't know. God. Brought the sleep gas. No. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Using its crotch cannon! Look at me, look at me, look at me, not at Aaron. Look at me. Aaron. Shiva. See the chat, Tim Kara. Hold on, I'm. Oh my God! Let's finish this. You know what time it is. Ascension! Oh, yeah! That felt good. Damn. It's the high potion, that's why I made him. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that was like the perfect time. get hit oh no <laughs> oh my god it's 
still in it. I'm still in it. Ugh. Here it comes. Gotcha. Let's dance. Oh. Ascension. Let's dance. God damn. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. All right, we got so we got so far. <laughs> I see I see the ways. I know what must be done. Let me catch up with chat though. Okay. I know what must be done. Alright. Let's read the chat. So Dimkara says ah, there's multiple moving parts, but I'll try my best to make have it make sense. Flashback to a year ago when I moved out here and I was working at Peaks. I met two people there. Chick and a guy. They soon became good friends. Separately, right? Uh, the guy I took in kind of like a little bro. The chick was uh, was with her... Uh, with, okay, with her BD. To make it easier, girl, will be M, guy with J. Alright. Uh, so M and I had a fictitious relationship, but never crossing the line because she was with her BD. Uh, okay. Anyways, I don't know where J and M start dating. I just told them to take things slow, right? Fast forward two months into them dating and M gets Brago. Oh, damn. <laughs> and they soon split and stuff. So as I'm friends with both, I was there for both. Oh, that is, yeah, that's unique. All right. Uh, and then fast forward the last week. Uh, dang. Okay. Fast forward. Uh, things happen for Jay. Definitely can't say. Chargers are huge. He's maintaining his innocence and was distraught. So I invite her over for pizza and a movie uh, so she can chill and stuff and one thing led to another. I guess we're in a pseudo dating place. Dang. Well, that means you're going to be pseudo. You're going to be step, step Papa Tim Kara. <clears throat> that is quite the tale to tell. Uh, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I mean, it ain't. The thing to know is there's there's a little one on the way, and that changes things, you know? Damn, that's rough. Oof. That is rough. Oh, man. I mean, to be there... Obviously, you know what you want. And you know what getting involved is going to entail for you. And if you're going to make it work, then you got a a tall mountain to climb. Not saying it, it's not climbable. I'm just saying it's, it ain't going to be easy. But again, with all these things happening, standing from afar, looking into the situation, maybe the best thing is just to offer support and not get yourself roped into something. <laughs> that you're not ready for <laughs> or necessarily fully want because it is a lot but again you know your big daddy didn't care of, and uh, at the end of the day the choice is yours but again something like that situation like that I personally would just be like continue maintaining the, the support and not play the long card, which is in this case waiting things out, but you know. You're kind of welcoming in a whole bunch of drama and stuff and <laughs> potentially down the line. And yeah, but again, I, I trust you know your situation and you'll be good. But yeah, that is quite the tale to tell. Chase. Yeah, 
Nothing is set in stone, exactly. Anyways, there's more. Oh, god damn it. Not messy as fuck. Ah, oh, those are not the good ones. All right, well, I'll let you speak. I'm gonna give this fight another round. I'm in my standing. Oh yeah, no, that's smart, yeah. You don't wanna get into, get into something with someone who is clearly not in the right headspace. Point in life is figuring their shit out. That's, she's got a lot on her plate. You've got your own stuff on her plate. You don't, you don't wanna add more plates to juggle and balance. That's not fun for anyone. But, you know, be part of her support system. Just continue, continue being there. You know, that, that does a lot. And like I said, you're, as we agreed, when things, after all of this is, you know, water under the bridge and way behind you, then that would be the best time. It sucks, hurts a lot. Especially on her end. Can't imagine how confused, distraught, just, you know, yeah. Everything is. You want two people to be in their best possible, their best possible selves. So, that's all I'm gonna say. All stuff I already know you're, all things I already know you know. <laughs> just saying it out there for, for the stream. Uh -uh. But yeah, just chilling. That's, Honestly, that's the smartest and the best thing you could do for yourself uh, and M. That's like, yeah, stuff like this, you just it sucks, but gotta give it time. But I wish her the best of luck. Same to Jay. You know, things happen, life moves on. Redemption is always an option, you know. Uh, look to the future, you know. There's always, there's always hope. Uh, people can work, work towards, you know, improving things and whatnot. Go on. Oh God, I'm getting shot. All right. I gotta focus on this stupid boss. How's that one joke from uh, the Three Amigos go? It's like for some, for some people, illiteracy is their El Guapo. For us, El Guapo is our El Guapo. <laughs> what am I doing? Thundera him. Thun Thundera. That was the plan. I had a plan, oh god. Really hoped I wouldn't take all that damage. No. Red thirteen, get the hell away from me! Oh good, Cloud's back. gonna hurt oh he's so got him let's finish this 
Can't remember to block that. Savage assault. Killed Aaron and well. All right. Almost a half health. Damn. Jesus, I'm in the corner and I can't see. Oh, that was real smart. That was real smart. Ah! Okay. So it turns out putting Aerith in the corner and hoping to keep the aggro away from her. <laughs> not, not good. He gets hit one time by a thunder and then it's like, all right, I see. I see what Ego is trying to do. <clears throat> then I'm like, well, damn. Let's see, I was just to catch up. Let me see. Okay, Dimkara says, oh, she's spending the night tonight after she gets off of work and we're having Chinese food. I use stream like my personal Reddit place. <laughs> Summon the chocobo. You know what? I do have the chocobo, don't I? Yeah, no, that's all good. Uh, I mean, you're not, you won't be the first person to come here and, you know, just seek advice, vent, uh, get words of encouragement and support. You've done it. Frollo's done it. Sora's done it. Uh,. Lots of people have done it. Strangers that have come into the stream and have just like told me the randomest things, crazy things of their life, and you know, it just sometimes it just helps having someone to listen and to talk to. You know, helps a lot actually. Uh -uh. But yeah, let me find the choke about thing, and we do what we can, man. We take care of each other as best we can. <laughs> but here's the question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I the A for hooking up with my buddy's ex? <laughs> Prego X. Well, you didn't seek her out. She sought you out. So she's the one who, you know... Started the advance. Again, though, you're the one kind of pursuing it. Takes two to tango. Uh, you know, again, person in a different set of circumstances to be like, yeah, no. Me personally, if there's ever someone I know, uh, and everyone's different, mind you, everyone's different. Everyone has their own rules and boundaries and things where they operate their own life. But me personally, I've found that uh, if there's ever someone uh, uh, that's ever dated someone that I personally know, uh, with, I think I've only let me say I've only been this been in this situation twice, uh, but normally it's like uh, I, I do I live by the uh, the Randall 
from Clerk's Rule. That's like, you registered as non-nookie the moment you started. Uh, what does he say? What's his line? Uh, it's like, you, you registered as non-nookie the second you started. I thought he was like locking lips with my, my friend over there. He's like, if you don't get out of here, I'm going to show you my pooter. All right already. Oh, go. Jeez. I'm kind of like that. You just don't even register to me anymore. Because I've seen friends that are like, yo, man, you're not dating anymore. Can I? And then they're like, on the outside, they're like, yeah, sure, do what you want. But on the inside, they're like, fuck, now they're dating. Fuck. <laughs> the fuck. But they don't ever say that. That kind of just comes out and you're like, oh, I thought you were cool with it. It's like, nah, man. Still not over it. Still not over her. Uh, and I was like, oh, man. <laughs> so I just like, out of respect for the homies, I'm like, there's a million fish in the sea. I get that there could be something. At least like, wait. You got to wait. Like, you got to give it time, man. I'm not saying you're not allowed to jump on that. You totally are. You know. But it's like, uh, you know, at least, at least give it some air to breathe. <laughs> then again, again, every situation is different. Some say all's fair in love and war. Uh, but me personally, I try like, nah, you're, uh, it's kind of like the, you don't exist to me rule. And there's only been two girls and, and both times I was like, I made damn sure to like, dude, I'm just letting you know, so-and-so's like, he's into me. How do you feel? Uh -uh. And again, they were like, and I got, I got the go ahead. They were like, do what you want, man. Don't involve me. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I mean, I don't need your blessings, but it helps to have them, you know? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Brothers for, before others. Sisters before misters, that kind of a thing. You just you go, you gotta, you know, you don't need grudges or bad blood. That's that's how, that's how super villains are made. <laughs> so, that's like twice in my life, I've had, I've been in that kind of position, and I was like, I just want you to know. And is it weird? And I got the now nah, you do what you want. When secretly they were like pissed off or uncomfortable, but it was like, and then obviously those, that, those relationships didn't last. So it was like, it ultimately didn't matter, but it was like, Hmm. And likewise on the flip side, I've been in the opposite situation where they come to me and it's like, I'm dating someone such, are you cool with it? That's like, I'm not going to do it unless you say you're cool with it. And I was like, you know, I had to take accountability and I was like one of those things where I was like, let me get back to you. And that took like a day to like, you know, I don't own anybody or that person. I'm not in charge of their lives. You know, I'm not their keeper. I can't hold people back or restrict people. Like I don't have that kind of authority. <laughs> get over yourself. I'm not that important. So I was like, you know, it's gonna be weird and I'm gonna not obviously not like it but if that's what you want to do you know I'm not gonna stop you and then I was like okay so you're not saying no I'm like no I mean I don't know it's kind of that code you got to be bigger than yourself kind of just allow it to happen <clears throat> kind of like you want your friend to be happy you want the other person to be happy even though they were at one time happy with you I don't know. You got to be very emotionally mature. And that's the kind of shit that you're <laughs> not prepared for when you're like <laughs> junior high, high school. Not even college, I'd say. Like gr even grown ass adults don't have the emotional maturity to just approach it that way and think things through and see things, you know, uh, uh, as Conan O'Brien once said, in the year 3000. In the year 3000, 40 years after I broke up, <laughs> my ex becomes one of my homies' wife. In the year 3000, <laughs> I will rem rement, relent about this in 40 years on the stream. Uh, 
and hopefully it helps other people who should should they come across similar situations in their life in the year 3000 <laughs> yeah normally i wouldn't do so but it's just circumstances that brought us closer i mean i never claimed to be a good person <laughs> yeah so yeah it's again all that said seeing what you posted it's yeah you know things happen it's life isn't easy things are never go according to plan nobody's perfect you just try to do the best you can and try not to hurt anybody you know lord knows i've done my share of stuff for it i definitely have regrets but i just at this point in my life i'm like you know just trying to navigate the waters carry on my wayward son there'll be peace when you are done but yeah it's yeah it's a lot can be a lot there's a lot to unpack there it's definitely not the place to this is definitely not the place <laughs> seek professional help i'm just some stranger <clears throat> but again yeah Oh yeah, dude, I can't even tell you how wrecked emotionally I've been, especially recently. Oh man, I can't tell you. Yeah. Uh, well, in my 30s, been wrecked emotionally before. You were there for the last one, but I never stopped people. I, yeah, I never stop people from dating because I'm a firm believer of things fall apart for better things to fall into place. I mean, yeah, that's... It's all about uh, attitude, you know? Hope, belief. You just, you, you count on the good that can come from anything in every situation. There's always the potential for good. Something can be improved. Something can happen, you know? Uh-oh, controller. But yeah, it's, it takes a lot, man. It takes a lot. It ain't easy. It ain't easy, man. As Bruce Lee once said, you don't pray for an easy life. You pray for the strength to endure a hard one. Go on. Oh, God! Bullet fire. And you get by with a little help from your friends. All right, now I got us. I gotta blow up this goddamn Valkyrie. God, he stopped my spell. Aerith, give me the sweet, sweet healing wind. I was like, wait, did she heal me? Red 13, you got hit. Red 13 down. I wish I had Big Daddy Barrett. Ah! 
<laughs> Big Daddy Barrett. Oh, that was so close. Let's go, Cross Lash! Alright, head in the game, head in the game. Cloud, you need some help. Red 13. You're up. With me. Look at me. Vengeance mode. All right, this is good. Everyone is alive again. All right, all right, all right. Oh God, crotch cannon! Get out of the way, clown! Jesus! her alone Gauges now, let's go. Damn, get a summon up in this. Forgot to change to the fat chuckle bow. Sheep will do nicely, though. Gotta get behind. He, re he clearly realized he was a threat. <laughs> clearly realized. Oh, I was like, oh, it saved him? Okay, no. I'm not gonna let you die! First we chakra. Thank God.
chakra again. <laughs> No! Damn. It's doing so much damage. Thunder! Come on, we can get him! You know what time it is. Time for me to break my limit! It's being so fast right now. Red 13 Savage Assault Kick its ass Oh damn Yeah <laughs> Thank you, Cloud. Oh no! Aerith! Got him! I think. T. 
Damn. The very end. We got it. Perks are back on duty, huh? Wish they'd all go on vacation. For real. Come on. We need to find the others. All right. I'll look at the chat again. The next order of business is the Magnus Materia project. As you are aware, simultaneous energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. After analyzing the data from each site, we found the spikes stemmed from the arrival of visitors, unfathomably large life forms. Oh. Is that a weapon? Based on available information, it would seem so. They supposedly appear when the planet is in danger. And each one carries an enormous orb of materia. More specifically, an orb from which they themselves were born. They are living enigmas. Organisms also, sorry if you hear the rain. It's starting to rain very hard. My dream of capturing one is within reach. Oh, what I wouldn't give to peel one's flesh back. Pull it apart. And see what makes you tick. Your wish, Professor, will soon be granted. We'll all get what we want once that material is ours. This is ridiculous. Why waste time monster hunting when we're on the brink of creating the materia ourselves? I'm aware of your effort, monster hunter. But it would That's a fun game. To obtain naturally occurring specimens as well. Well, they would look good in the lobby. <laughs> Put them in the bathroom for all I care. Just leave me the carcasses. Those I take. Mr. President Kyrgyz, what is this really about? Wu-Tai is after me. Wu-Tai is for the kids! Well, talk about burying the lead. Sorry, that's Wu-Tang. <laughs> Mr. President. Yes. There's a question I never had the chance to ask your father. <gasps> Perhaps Should I say Kate Sith? Cat she? We used Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, Fact remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend, or even confirm if it actually exists. Great though he was, my father was old. And in his dotage, he became rich. But while we're on the subject, there's something I remain to ask all of you regarding those decisions. Why is it? that none of you even tried to stop. Damn. Shinra must change. We must break new ground. Grow stronger, smarter, observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your royal support. And I demand the same. I expect you all to prove that you are devoted not only to the company, but to me. 